Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a little package to open. This is not a knife, as you can probably tell by the title of this video. This is a Vero Engineering Mini Fulcrum. Now, a few months ago, I borrowed a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass. I forget whether it was a 1.5 or a 2.5. Anyways, I spent a week with a pry bar in my pocket to see if I would end up liking one. Um, turns out, the types of things that I do with my gear, I didn't really feel that it was worth having around. Um, <laughs> the most realistic thing for me to do with it is open bottles, and I don't really drink many bottles of things that require a bottle opener. So I just didn't have like an awakening that I felt like I needed to have a, a pry bar in my life or a bottle opener or anything like that. But, for the last couple of months, I've been seeing a ton of people rave about the Vero, um, the Fulcrums. Both the big one and now the little one, now that the little one is out. And supposedly, they make great pry bars. Um, Joseph Vero has become kind of a friend, he's a really cool dude, so I like the idea of supporting him as well as a maker. Um, but I've also, I've just seen a lot of people really raving about these things. And I've seen a number of comments of people who said that they weren't really all that into pry bars, but they have found theirs very useful. And so I figured it was kind of worth a shot to give a different pry bar a chance. And also, these have little Torx bits, and it's a bit driver as well. So I think if there's anything that's going to make this worth it for me to carry on my person regularly, it's the fact that I'll have a bit driver on me, and Torx bits, and I've always got knives on me, and it's not like it happens all the time that I need to adjust my knives while I'm out and about, but I like the idea of being able to, certainly. I think that's a good thing. So, let's dig into this with all of that being said, and uh, take a look at what we've got here. Let's see, I've got a bunch of knives next to me. I don't know what I want to open this with. We'll do it with a little giant mouse fixed blade, because this is brand new. Seems like a good idea. So, in here, we have obviously the fulcrum itself, and I went with the mini because I know, <laughs> I don't know, I'm confident that the big one doesn't stand that good of a chance at making it like into my pocket very often. So in here, I've got a couple of things. Some little candies. Very nice of you, Joseph. Thank you, sir. I happen to like eating candy. <laughs> So here is the fulcrum itself, and then I've got these extra goodies as well. I kind of went a little bit crazy because I wanted to feel out what worked for me. Um, and there's a few different ways to use these now. So the primary way is with a clip on it, a pocket clip. This is a Vero pocket clip. And you might notice it is a black DLC clip, which I think is going to look cool, especially when you see the color of this mini. Um, but then I also, sorry, I also have this, which is, come on, focus. Uh, this is the like keychain attachment. So there's a keychain option. So I could literally put this mini fulcrum on my keys. There's a clip option or what is on here right now, as we're about to see, well, that's pretty cool. The way this is packaged in there wrapped up in a little microfiber. We've got some bits and some O-rings here. Looks like there's a T6, a T8. Uh, yeah, T6, T8, and T10. Now in here we have the mini fulcrum and it is currently wearing the clipless option. So this is just to remove the clip and this is just to like toss into a pocket kind of thing. So Right now, you'll see this one is actually a white Cerakoted version. He's got it all wrapped up with these white O-rings, the way he sent it to me. And you'll see this omits the clip entirely. So it looks pretty rad. This is white. Um, I like that it's all white on white, just like super clean looking. But if I put the black clip on, then all of a sudden, I'm looking super stormtrooper-y, which is cool. And I've got some black O-rings in here with these extra bits. Um, 
on the thing right now. We've got a flat head and a Phillips head, which is great as well. Um, I, I look at this more as like a, a pocket tool than a pry bar, if that makes sense. Uh, one of my friends even recommended like that I go into it not even thinking of it as a pry bar, but thinking of it as a multi-tool. And I think that'll be my best chance of liking it. So this thing looks pretty sweet. Obviously in the, uh, the Cerakoted version, it's a little bit special, a little bit different. And uh, I really just wanted to give myself a proper, <laughs> a proper try to see if I could kind of be converted to this tool here. So this is pretty sweet. I think, yeah, this is cool. Let me try putting one of these bits in so that you can see how they mount in here. This is just moving the O-rings. I don't know what the, I'm gonna have to learn the trick. You know what, let me do one of the ones that's not under the O-rings. So, you take one of these little bits and you can see here, we've got our opening and there's a magnetic retention system in there as well. You literally just slot that right in there and boom, you have a bit driver. I think that is just, of the tools that go on pry bars, like the functions that are built into some of them, that is definitely the one that I personally am most likely to use. I just, I, like I said, I, I don't open a lot of bottles, I don't drink, so if I do it's like a glass bottle Coke here and there or root beer or something. It just doesn't happen all that often, and if it does, I'm usually in a place where I'm either at home or at like a friend's house where they've got a bottle opener. I don't find myself out in the wild often, like needing to open bottles. It's just not my lifestyle, right? Um, and then in terms of like needing to pry stuff, I just don't need to pry stuff very often. Now this is a pry bar. It'll work for that if that does come up, but the fact that I've got this function built into it, I think is gonna be a really good thing. So I'm gonna play around with this and figure out what way I like to carry it and what way I like to use it. Um, also, uh, yeah, I just also wanna play around with it for fun because I've got <laughs> options here. I definitely wanna throw the clip on and see it looking all stormtrooper-y. I think that'll be cool. But uh, I don't know what way is gonna work best for me yet. I, I have a hunch that I might like it best clipless, just tossed into my fanny pack, because I've been carrying a fanny pack a lot lately. Um, I keep teasing that I'm going to do a video on that. Um, I really am. There will be a video soon. On, uh, I actually got a new fanny pack that I like even better than the one that I was trying out. Um, I probably should have included you guys in that journey, but um, I don't know how many people would find my fanny packs that interesting anyways. Um, anyways. I'll be showing that soon, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe it'll go great in there with the clip, I'll find that I like it that way, maybe it'll be best clipless, maybe I'll find that with the pocket clip, I like actually carrying it in my pocket, I'm open to that, um, we'll see, so, just gonna give it a fair shake, and uh, ultimately there will be a full review, and kind of a, I'll, I'll share my findings, if you will, so, that'll be that for now, this is all of the stuff, so, I'll also, these little microfibers are pretty sweet with this little this logo on them. I don't know if I showed that. It's like embossed on there. It's pretty cool. I love it when makers and retailers and all these people like throw in the little things. Like they make a difference. You know, I'm, I've heard both arguments of like nice packaging and all that kind of stuff where it's like, would you rather have it cost less or have it cost more and it goes into the packaging? Like, I'd kind of, like, it doesn't bother me if something is a couple bucks more and you get, like, a cool tin that it comes in and a microfiber and all this stuff is cool to me. I, I dig it. So, anyways, thank you, Joseph. Um, I did buy this from him, but um, it, he was cool to sell me one. And, uh, like I said, Joseph is a cool maker. Um, I have an Axon on pre-order. As soon as that gets in, you guys will be seeing that. Um, as of when I'm filming this, this is actually the night before the Synapse pre-order. This will probably go live after that, but um, the Gen 2 Synapse is going live tomorrow. Um, he's just up to a lot of really cool stuff. And I liked the Impulse and the Synapse that I reviewed that were loaned to me by my buddy Jason. And uh, I'm really excited for my Axon. I think that'll be kind of the Vero for me, if I had to guess. Um, 
But yeah, there's so much cool stuff on the horizon for him. There's more models that haven't even been released yet. There's new generations of existing models and new sizes of existing models. And he's just constantly up to really cool stuff. So if you're not following along with Vero Engineering, um, I would say jump on the train now because uh, it's rapidly picking up pace and uh, it'll just get harder and harder to catch up as time goes on. But anyways, thanks guys for checking it out. This is my new Vero Mini Fulcrum in white Cerakote, and uh, I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be a fun little tool to give a shot to. So, I'll see you on the next one.